It's Kevin Nolte Nolte making a last minute Project for Awesome video. If you watch the whole thing, I can promise you three things. One, you'll understand Project for Awesome. Number two, uh, I'll let you in on how I reached Morgan Freeman yesterday. That Twitter rumor is nothing but a, an ignominious rumor. And three, on your deathbed, you shall receive total unconsciousness. But let's back up for a second. Today you're seeing lots of videos on YouTube about Project for Awesome, and if you're like me, you're saying, what the heck is Project for Awesome? Except that, in my case, I've done Project for Awesome more and before, and I have the memory of an app. Let's keep this clean. It starts with John and Hank, and they're unemployed, unsuccessful brothers, and they create Brotherhood 2.0, the Vlog Brothers, and the Nerd Fighters. Question? What's a Nerd Fighter? A nerd Fighter is you and me. We don't fight nerds. We just eliminate the world of suck. But it would be really hard to rally behind the elimination of world suck, so it's called Project for Awesome. And nerd faders, they're like trolls. If you put them on a scanner and hit invert, you turn a giant squid of anger into a nerd fighter. Nerd fighters await the coming of a puppy-sized elephant. We wear funny things on our head to make people happy. So I am gonna auction off my nerd visor seen two trillion billion times and you can win it and it's all to benefit the american foundation for suicide prevention because somebody kills themselves every 15 minutes and don't do that we need you i'm going to toss in an autographed copy of my book beyond viral in my pants and my cast thing i'm totally forgetting something Oh, my charity is AnimalLifeline.org. Kennels, raised dog beds, dog houses, roofs, things that put tools into the hands of people that are taking care of the animals. I think little goats trying to help. They help the people that make animal shelters, uh, that rescued dogs and cats and other puppy-sized elephants. And Freddy is a Animal Lifeline rescue dog. Now a little secret. I don't know Morgan Friedman. But I do know Jim Meskimon, the voice behind Jib Jab, which is coming out this Monday. And uh, he does a really good work in Freeman impersonations, and now you're on the inside. There's a link in the bottom if you want to help out Project for Awesome or Animal Life Hunt. <laughs> Puffy side elephants with hats. What's going, What's going on, guys? guys? Brett, Brett the intern, intern here. I want, I want to tell, tell you a story because, because yesterday, yesterday this guy, guy bumped, bumped into me and he totally, totally stole, stole my wallet. wallet. Some, Some people don't believe me, but I'll, I'll show you. Here, here check, check it out. out. Where, Where are you going, going dude? dude? Uh, sorry. Did you, Did you see, see it? it? Totally, totally stole my wallet. wallet. You didn't. You didn't. Okay, okay, you know, you know what? what? Let's, Let's slow it down just a little, little bit. He steals my wallet. Check, Check it out. Watch where you're going, dude. Uh, sorry. <sighs> no? You still didn't see it. Okay. Um, maybe if I speed it up. Just watch very carefully. Sped up. Watch where you're going, dude. Oh, uh, sorry. You still didn't see it. The guy steals my wallet. Okay, um, super slow motion, last time. Watch, you have to watch carefully. Steals my wallet. Watch where we're going, dude. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and that's it. Stole my wallet. What's going on, YouTube? I am so excited to be here for Project for Awesome. This is the fourth year in a row that I have participated. I've been part of Project Awesome since the beginning, 07. Shout out to the Vlog Brothers. I wish you were here with me in beautiful California. It is raining. People are ice skating below me. Um, this portion of the um, telecast, broadcast, live stream, whatever we're calling it, is the mental and physical health portion. So clearly, they chose me for a reason because I'm so mentally and physically well and we are spotlighting two of our organizations beat bullying and save the children and also in this section I'm going to be speaking to two of my favorite youtubers Swift Karate Chop and Brittany Louise Taylor and stay tuned for a performance from 
Uh, Christina Horner from the Five Awesome Girls. I love her. And I think that's it. I think we have a clip right now from Beat Bullying, so I'll see you in a minute. I'm crying into my pillow because I hate my life. They're messing with my head again. This time they said they would kill me. My doctor put me on antidepressants. They helped me take the pain away. I'm cutting myself because I don't want to go to school. I'm really worrying for my daughter. She's sticking her fingers down her throat because they're sending a hate text. My son's drinking, getting out of control, and he won't tell me what the hell is wrong. I'm signing the papers to admit a 14-year-old girl to a psychiatric facility. She's just a danger to herself. I'm visiting my son in the hospital. This is the third time he tried to kill himself since all this began. I'm burying a 13-year-old girl this afternoon. I'm going to intervene next time. I'm going to stand up and be counted. I'm going up to the school again today. This time I'm going to make them do something. I'm working with our colleagues to make sure that we have a zero tolerance approach to bullying in our school. I'm a cyber mentor and I'm online 24-7 helping young people like you be bullying. I'm Councilman Jack Boyd, who is in complete amount of despair. He's been viciously harassed for being gay. We are slowly getting there. I'm volunteering my time to mental young people to get through this. I'm fighting back by campaigning in my school, my neighborhood, and online. I'm asking Nick Clegg, the Deputy Prime Minister of Great Britain, what are you doing to be bullying? I'm asking President Obama, what are you doing to beat bullying? Hi everybody, I'm back and this is our very special Who is Pretty segment of the program and maybe you recognize some of your favorite YouTubers. Go down the line first, men, and just tell everybody at home who you are. I'm Fluffy. Fluffy talks. Fluffy talks, Fluffy speaks, Fluffy everything. Hi, I'm Gnome and I work at YouTube. He works at YouTube, so be nice, write nice things about him. <laughs> Who's this handsome guy? I'm Anthony from Smosh. Yes! And you, I think I saw you earlier in the show. You're looking a little sexier right now. I uh, shaved. Nice. Yeah, I'm uh, Greg of Mediocre Films. And, and these, are the, these are the lovely ladies who will be doing the makeup. Oh, Olga, oh what are you doing here? Tell everybody at home, what is your role in this event? Okay, today's my role is to, do, uh, to turn Fluffy into a beautiful girl. And so, I'm not a makeup guru, so I'm very excited. <laughs> so stay tuned because Olga is going to turn Fluffy into a beautiful girl. Andrea, hi. say hi. Hello. Andrea and Callum, say hi. hi. Do you recognize, say your YouTube channel. Queen Beauty. Woo. And just choice. And <laughs> Olga Kid. Ooh, ooh. And this is Artie. Hi, Artie. Hi. And how do we know you? Um, I work for the station. Awesome. And um, I have a FX channel called Butter SFX. So some FX makeup is going, uh, did I say F -S uh, what? <laughs> what? I'm kind actually of doing So you're going to be doing beauty. some special makeup. I'm actually doing a beauty effect today. We're going to be seeing a beauty effect on Greg Brenson, so stay tuned. But yeah. right now, we are going to go. This is Richard, who is the Deputy Chief Executive of Beat Bullying. Take it, Richard. Hi, my name's Richard, and I work for the charity Beat Bullying. Beat Bullying works with children and young people who are being bullied and those who bully, giving them support and helping them develop strategies and programs to tackle bullying themselves online in their schools and colleges and beyond. The work we do is proven to reduce the amount of bullying that takes place in a school or in an area where we've worked. Truth is, most children in the world will experience bullying in some form. Bullying can make children feel so low, so worthless, like they don't want to be who they are and like they don't want to even exist anymore. We work with some of the most vulnerable children, helping them and giving them support because Every child should have the opportunity to be who they can be and grow up without the fear and pain of being bullied. We've already worked with hundreds and thousands of children, but to really beat bullying, we need everyone's help. To support beat bullying, you can donate on our website or tell us what you're doing to tackle the problem and ask others what they're doing to beat bullying. 
I am back outside with two of my favorite YouTubers and my friends, Brittany Louise Taylor and Swift Karate Chop Matthew. <laughs> And let me tell you, this is going to be the highlight of the show for me. I saw on paper that I was going to be with you, and I swear it was worth the entire trip just to sit here with you. Aren't you crazy? I am a little crazy. But this is, um, you know, so we're, t we're highlighting um, Beat Bullying, their organization. And I know you two are here. We'll start with you, Brittany, because both of you have been bullied. So you know what it's like to be bullied. So, you know, tell me, what was your, what's your story of growing up and what happened? What's your story? Well, I think I was from a small town, so it was hard to make friends in the first place. But I would get, like, invited to sleepovers and they pour nail polish on me while I was sleeping. And I had, I mean, I was always tall and skinny, so people automatically assumed that I had an eating disorder or whatever. I mean, I gave him five pounds and it doesn't <laughs> go anywhere because I'm six feet tall. So I think, I know people write horrible things on my car in high school and... Oh my God. No, they would write like... So spoiled. how did you deal with it in high school? What do you do when somebody writes something on your car? What did you do? How did you handle well, it? Well, my mom always said to me, she's like, the only reason I can think is that everything happens for a reason. And it's like, you know, you almost have to thank those people because they're making you stronger. Because I don't think I could have moved out to LA by myself if I hadn't gone through that. And I think it's just all about, it's, if you, if someone comes up and they attack you, if you don't acknowledge it and you just smile, they want a reaction. So if someone's bullying you and being mean to you, it's like once you realize that they'll move on to someone else because misery loves company. They want to make you miserable. And when they don't succeed at making you miserable and you know they say, oh, you look ugly. You're like, thank you. That's the best compliment <laughs> I've ever received exactly. in my life. Then they're like, okay, she's a little weird. I'm gonna leave her alone. I am a little weird. Right. But <laughs> so, so Matthew, what's your story? What how, how, You grew up in the South, didn't yes, you? Yes, I'm from Alabama. Uh, Mine is actually both spectrums. At one point in my life, I, I was the bully. Um, my parents were getting a divorce. I was just dealing with a lot of things. And um, I just, I was acting out, trying to get attention. And I was just a bad kid, basically. And I knew it. I knew it deep down inside. And I went and talked to a counselor, actually, and was like, hey, like, you know, this is what's going on in my life. Like, you know, I don't want to be the bad guy, you know? I'm just venting out. And then on the complete opposite spectrum, um, I've moved around a lot. And I moved to a new school, and I was a new guy, and didn't have any friends. I was also different. So not that, you. I, yeah, I know, right? Just us YouTubers. No. I know. But, um, We're so but don't you all find that the internet and YouTube specifically is a wonderful place for people oh, to yes. be? And so many people who necessarily wouldn't have been accepted in real life suddenly they've got this huge following, I and you like can my, build an audience. Yeah, everyone on YouTube is like they have at some point in their life felt isolated because they feel okay yes. being in this alternate reality where they where there are friends. I've never mm -hmm. met you, yeah. but we connect in a different way you because be we know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Be yourself to maximum capacity because there's someone else out there in the entire world like you. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, YouTube is a safe place, and this is a project for Awesome is a good example of being yourself. I don't know and how to say but it's a place you. where you can be yourself and you yeah. can make a living doing it and you can make a difference by being yourself on camera. And there's a girl yes. watching at home right now who is skinny and getting picked on, and she's looking at you saying, It's gonna get better. So what's yeah. your message to the, the kids at home who are getting bullied? What would you say to them right now? Because they're honestly, watching. You need to, you need to thank people that they're doing that to you because that it's only making you a tough person. So I think when you go through that and you survive, you're going to be able to come into any situation and have self-confidence because when you've gone through people being horrible to you and rejection, it feels normal. Right. Yes. So if you go out in life and you don't get a job, you're like, oh, okay. That's so to cool. the girl who graffitied yeah. Britney's car, look at me now, bitch. <laughs> so Sucka. Matthew, as a former bully, what do you say to people out um, there who are bullying and who are even logging onto YouTube yeah. and writing derogatory, uh, hateful uh, things to people? Um, what do you say as a former bully to the bullies out there? I'm a very firm believer in karma. <laughs> and for me, when I was doing bad things, bad things were happening. I wasn't doing good in school, which means I was going home and I was getting paddled like no other. <laughs> so. Now, you know, it's all about karma. So I feel like if you're doing the bullying, then maybe you should talk to somebody because there is something going on with you, you know? And I think we gotta understand yeah. with bullies too yes. is that I think that people are bullies because they're hurting. Yes. So when someone's they're being venting the you, wrong way. It doesn't mean that they necessarily don't like you. It's like they're taking their own pain and they're shoving it on you. Yeah. I wanted so. to tell you guys a little about beat bullying just to give you an example. So we're gonna roll a, a clip in a moment of a girl who actually beat bullying really helped her and you'll hear that in a second. But for an example, the, the beat bullying, um, they would love for you guys to tweet your leaders, um, Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg, if you're in the UK or President Obama and say, what are you doing about bullying? And you know, ask them what they're doing to tackle bullying and also 
also upload a video and tag it Beat Bullying and P4A. Again, that's everything we're doing today. P. For a little sign language for you. And just so you know, the money you're donating to this organization, $20, 13 pounds, could keep the Cyber Mentor service online for another hour. So think of the people who are logging on to this wonderful site and they need someone and you're really directly helping that with your donations. So thank you. And thank you guys for being here. Yeah, Check out these guys on YouTube and here is a true story of a girl who, um, who was very successful from beatbox, uh, beatboxing. Boom, 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 boom. Beat bullying, let's roll that clap. <laughs>
All right, well, thanks, guys. So we have a video we're going to show. We'll be back in a minute, so let's see the video. And we're clear. Great. Every day, children around the world face health threats that could easily be prevented or treated. Simple to diagnose, simple to treat, they claim a child's life every three seconds. But here's the good news. Every four seconds, basic health care provided by a health care worker helps a child survive. One, two, three, four. They bring life-saving care to some of the places where child survival is most challenging. So when you help a health care worker like Mahmoud Akhtour or Felix Aguilar Ramirez or Jonas Masele or Asata Dumbia, you can help children everywhere get a better chance at survival every second of every day. Help one. Save many. So we are checking in on our Who is Pretty segment, and there is Olga, and she is getting her weave on. I can't even tell who that is. Is that Fluffy? That's Fluffy? Yeah, so we are going to check back in with them. That is Olga Kay. She is a famous juggler. And there is the gentleman from YouTube who looks very sexy. I think Andrea is working on him. Hi, Andrea. Shout out to Andrea. And that is the definite, <laughs> the, the definite better looking of Smosh, Anthony. Where's Ian? Is he watching this? Hi, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> you are doing a beautiful job. Okay, guys. Well, now we have a special treat. We have Christina Horner, who is one of the five awesome girls. And she was in Guatemala, and she made a video about it and she, through Save the Children. So first she is going to talk about that, and then she is going to perform. So take it away, Christina. I'm Christina. And I'm Luke. We are in the band All Caps. Uh, we sing about nerdy stuff to our uh, electronic music. And um, I recently got to go to Guatemala to save the children. You saw some of the people I went with on my trip just a few minutes ago. And it was an amazing experience. So much so that our band wants to help support Save the Children. Um, we've got some really cool opportunities available if you go check out the Project for Awesome site to work with us on a cool project. Um, but we are going to play you guys a song right now. Yeah, from our band uh, called All Caps. I, <laughs> I think this is a song about robots. So if you're at home and want to dance around to our track, uh, feel free. Go for it. <laughs>
don't unplug me or, or, or just shut me down Please just love me when, when you steal heart I reboot you if, if you look at me with those cold eyes one, one more time I just got the memo about this upgrade to I felt my circuit board ignite You held my hand in your metallic grip We may be machines, but I'm in love But tonight. sing it again Unplug me, or, or, or just shut me down Please just love me with, with your steel heart I'd reboot you if, if you'd look at me With those calls I want one more go! Don't unplug me, or, or just shut me down Please just Dang, that was so much fun. Can you reenact it? How does that song go? I, she was like mouthing the words. I, I know she knows it. Go ahead, do it. This is your chance in front of millions of people. Don't, um, Gia. Uh, don't unplug me. Oh, I'm Gia, Gia, no. <laughs> I want more energy. Uh, so anyway, but people who are watching who want to get involved with Save the Children, what, what do you suggest? We can go to projectforawesome.com or exactly. goodghost.org. Go right, you can go to Project for Awesome and, and donate on site. And we have props. We, we what? have a few props, I love sure. props. Props make uh, a, a live stream so much better. Uh, one thing that we thought would be interesting if we had a chance to do was tell people just how simple it really is to treat a case of diarrhea. And most people don't know this, but Christina found it out on the trip and she found it just a little bit funny. Diarrhea is actually the number two killer of children around the world. Oh my God. So we lose almost a million children every year to diarrhea. And uh, something as simple as this, which is a little sugar salt packet added to water, can help treat a case of diarrhea. So we uh, purposely, for Project for Awesome, set up a, a text to donate for our work in diarrhea. So all you have to do, very simple, is text POOP to 20222. And we're doing this with a straight face. This woman just told you to text POOP. What's going on? I love it! Who came up with that? That's so brilliant! <laughs> say it again. Text poop to... Text poop to 20222 and Save the Children will receive $10 and we'll put that toward our diarrhea case management through health workers, the kind of people you saw in the video. And again, I bet you're watching at home and you never knew that. So yeah. thank you for being here today. Thank you Save the Children for everything you do. Please check them out on the web and thank you for everything you guys do. Seriously, thanks for being here. We have a very special treat right now. Tay Zande is taking your Twitter questions for makeup guru extraordinaire Michelle Fan. Take it, Tay! Hey, this is Tay Zande, and I'm here with the wonderful Michelle Fan, and we're answering your Twitter questions that you're tweeting with the hashtag P4A. And where are we? I think, I think we're in a neighborhood right now. Oh, we're you know, in a neighborhood. We're, we're in a neighborhood we're, with an elephant in the background. With an elephant in the background. So, That's you know, it. we get around with these Twitter questions. Twitter is global. And the first question is from Tara Foster uh, to Michelle Fan. Okay. Hey to all, what charity is absolutely closest to your heart and why? That's a really good question. Um, recently I've been donating to the school to help mm -hmm. build uh, playgrounds and help donate books and supplies. So to me, like any charity with kids, it really touches me because I feel like kids are the future and I really stress on education. Mm -hmm. So anything that involves education and kids. And there are lots of kids watching YouTube and your YouTube channel. Yeah, there is lots of kids watching YouTube. And, um, Do you ever get messages or like get feedback from uh, younger viewers of your YouTube channel who kind of see you as a role model or see you as an inspiration? They do, actually. And you know what's great? It's, um, it, I kind of feel like I'm a lot of girls' big sister. Like, they see me as a big sister. So I feel like I should, um, I should focus more on the kids and everything. But um, that's one charity that I really love. And another one is, is charities for um, 
for, for people who are hungry. All right. Especially now, like, it's the holidays, so it's time of giving, and I feel like it's a good time to just give back to uh, people who um, don't have a lot, like, you know, s essential things like food. Yeah, most definitely. And um, I know I love the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I've done stuff with them. Uh, on YouTube because they're very much in the internet issues and, and electronic issues. The next Twitter question is from uh, Jillian Crawford. Uh, what kind of makeup should I wear with my sparkly New Year's dress? Ooh, sparkly New Year's dress. Gotta get in on that makeup. Everyone, are you gonna wear a sparkly? I might, you know, I might you do the sparkly, sparkly New Year's tie. dress. Hey, that sounds like you a should. video. I will find one for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a sparkly New Year's I'll dress. I'll take that shopping, we'll find Absolutely. You know, we'll start with a tie first. But um, awesome. to answer your question, I love sparkles on the eyes. You can start out with something simple, like just a little bit of glitter in the inner corners. Maybe a little bit of glitter on your lashes. You would know this, right? I, absolutely. Are you taking notes right now? I'm taking notes. Take notes. And by the way, where are we? <laughs> where are we? We, hey, we changed the location. We're teleporting, guys. We're teleporting. It's teleportation time. We're in the water. We're in the water, so. I'm going to be swimming in the water. <laughs> um, so back to Jillian Crawford's question. Uh, just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of glitter. I recommend... Um, for me, I have a New Year's video where I, I applied like glitter on my lids and I extended it and gave myself a cat eye and it yeah. looks really sexy. Yeah, and, so. and I love your videos because in the videos it's very close up. Like in, in the videos when you give these directions, you can like see right down to the pores, you know, expand Oh, that's that not good. I don't want people to see my pores. <laughs> the eye definition, but you can see very clearly. Uh, next Twitter question is from Milky Way Citizen. Uh, what small things do you do every day, month, or year to make the world suck less. Okay. Um, wow. That's a broad question, isn't it? That's a really it? broad question. Okay. <laughs> how do, how okay. Do you answer that. So something I do every day. I, I um, when I'm brushing my teeth, I don't leave the water running. There you go. I save water. There you go. Very important. I actually recycle everything I have. I recycle wow. my paper, my everything. plastic. Everything, All right. except for styrofoam. Can you recycle? I don't think you can recycle. It depends styrofoam. on where you are. You can check with your city. Check with your uh, your local okay. guy. Uh, well, people. So. Um, and um, where? Where are we now? Where are we? We changed. We moved. We're still in the water, though. I yes, love this water so save, thing. So, uh, so, you know, save the whales talking and, about water, and, and, talking and about save brushing water. Your teeth. <laughs> Not running the water when you brush your teeth. Right. Very important. Uh, and um, what do I do a month? I I try to carpool as much as I can. I actually carpooled on my way here. Wow, you so. carpooled on your way here, so yeah. that's amazing. So, did you carpool in too? LA. I did not, I did not. Shame I on to, you! I need, to get, I need to take some carpool classes you. from Michelle Fon. Uh, carpool tutorial? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, next Twitter question is from uh, Chelsea Howarth. If you were not doing the job you do, what career would you have chosen? I, I would have just done, a, I would have just been a character designer for a video game company. All right. That's actually why I went to illustration school, was um, to learn about um, illustration for, um, where are we? Where are we? Do we change? We keep teleporting. We keep, we keep moving. Okay, we, keep we are a in. a different background. I like what this one. What is that? Um, I don't know. It's kind of, I, I like, I want to hold one of those things, is, though. Is it a Triton or something? India. A, 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 a Triton? It, it, we're it in India. It looks right. like, oh, we're, okay, Well, that's India. awesome. So to all the YouTubers watching in India, uh, We teleported we, to We India, teleported guys. there. That's great. Um, final Twitter question. Uh, if you had to eat one thing you could prepare for the rest of your life, oh, what would it be? That I one had thing. to prepare? Yeah, that oh, you, had, you have to cook. You have to prepare it. It would be... One thing for the rest for of your sure. life. For sure. Um, ramen. 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 You would eat ramen for the rest of your life. You know, maybe I shouldn't because <laughs> did you hear about this one guy? He was obsessed. I don't know if it was Starcraft or World of Warcraft, where All right. he ate ramen for like a month straight and All he right. actually died. Oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't hear that story, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm sure that <laughs> it, so it would funny. work out. It would work out in your case. So maybe I shouldn't um, eat it for the rest of my life because I don't want to die. I don't know. I might do peanut butter, honey, and bananas. Oh, that I, sounds yeah. very healthy. Yes, very healthy. Potassium I might, I might and uh, amino acids. Yeah, and, and iron, and you know, also yeah, and your all bread. Sorts of Things, carbohydrates. You know? yeah, keep me keep me up, keep me making YouTube videos and uh, keep me checking those tweets with yes. the P4A hashtag about Project for Awesome. Uh, so great to be here supporting uh, a great cause and we're gonna pass it off to Michael Buckley who has the update on, on people looking pretty. Yes. Tay, this is it. 
This is the result. This is what we've been waiting for. This is so exciting, the payoff. And just so you guys know at home, we were doing this, you know, to be fun, just a little lighthearted in the show. And also, you know, makeup people are big on YouTube, so it's, it's for fun. But also, the point of it more was also, you know, don't judge a book by a color. We made, they made some people look a little way today, but you know, don't, that's not who they are. So, you know, makeup and labels and all that stuff. And now I'm rambling. But anyway, this is Olga. <laughs> Olga, what did you do to Fluffy? Well, I took Fluffy and I turned him into one of my characters, which is Razorblade. So he looks very pretty and emo. Come on out, Razorblade. Come on, Razorblade. Oh my God. And you have, so pretty. You, it's, it's uncanny. Yeah, I was like looking in a mirror. You don't know what you look like, do you? No, no. They've no. given me a mirror, shall we reveal? I'll pass it to you. <laughs> what do we think? Well, now that you've had this makeover, you're gonna I keep your I'm new look? Yeah, it feels so right. <laughs> Do you have anything though to say about bullies? Have you ever been bullied? Anything? Shout out to your audience or to people at home to make them feel good? Uh, yeah, if you get bullied, yeah. just ignore it. Yeah, you tell them. Thanks, <laughs> Olga. You did a great job. Thank you so much. All right, who's next? Okay. Come on out for the reveal. Andrea. Andrea, what's this? What did you do to him? We you know we, we both love Marilyn Monroe. So this is a Marilyn Monroe look. Have yeah. you seen yourself yet? No. Would you like to, or do you want to take a pass? I think I'll pass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you better look. Mirror, right. mirror on yeah. the wall. Ready to go to you work. look yeah. lovely. Well, thank I you did. for being yeah. a good sport. Absolutely. Thank you, Andrea. Oh, we need the mic, so I'm getting the mic. Effortless, effortless. Don't need the kittens. Don't need the kittens. Oh, effortless. Callow, come talking. out! Oh, what's this? <laughs> what did you do? Who needs the mic? Um, you know, we did kind of like a holiday look since Christmas is around the corner. So we got like some red and green and gold and sparkles. I'm just gonna them. say this right now. The other two got what they got. You look good. Thank you. I think you look pretty good. I think you should go out tonight. Can I, can I see myself? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice. I know. You, you did a good job. You did really that's nice. That's really nice. You did really good. All right, thanks, Thank guys. You. Thanks for being here. Uh, come out. All right, Hi. and reintroduce yourself. I'm Artie. It's Artie in the house. And Artie, you do special effects makeup and or you have a knife in your purse. Well, you know, I just... I felt like he was too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> naturally just too pretty that I couldn't actually do beauty makeup today, so... Greg, have you seen yourself? I don't, I don't have to. I, I felt it. She beat the crap out of me. Scene of the crime. Yeah. No, oh, you, she cut me good. You look good. You kind of look like an athlete, like you were in a hockey fight or something. I like the wrong. I like it. The street. I, I, hope, I, hope, night. I hope my wife doesn't mind that I'm actually going to go to a party like this tonight. She loves that. All right, well, thanks, guys. And thank you um, to all the makeup people and all the YouTubers for participating in this. And thank you guys for watching. And now I'm going to throw it over to the Will of DC over in the living room. Hit it, Will. Thank you, Michael Buckley. You're doing such an amazing job. And I'm here with some amazing YouTubers, Michelle Fawn, Olga Kay, and Fluffy Talks. Right from Canada, your first trip to America, am I right? Yeah. How are you liking the U.S. of A? Oh, yeah. Great. Is it everything you expected it to be? Yeah. Do you want to move here now? Uh, I don't know. I'll see if I visit more. <laughs> So, Michelle, how are you doing this year? You had an amazing year. You were traveling, it seems like, every other week. Did you just get back from... It's, it's almost like I'm not even living. In <laughs> you live on the airplane? I live yeah. on the airplane, <laughs> kind of like George Clooney and up in the air. Right, exactly. Um, but you just came back from Hong Kong, correct? Yes, Hong Kong and Thailand. Yes, how was that? How, how are the... Um, audience over there because you know here I only see so much of the American YouTube love, audience. They love YouTube. They love the whole YouTube community. They love Ryan. They love um, Smosh and just everyone. It's it's a, it's a huge support system over there. And, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, and they're starting. They're slowly starting to do their own videos. Too. Right. I know we I, we don't we have prominent Canadian YouTubers, but where are the prominent Hong Kong and Taiwanese YouTubers? They're getting started. They're on getting it. started. Yeah. Well, shout out to all of you. I hope you get started really soon and well. Olga, you had an amazing year as well. The Circus, yes. big oh, success. Yes. When's the Circus 2 coming out? Where's the sequel? We should start talking to the producers. Yeah, let's start talking to the producers. Where's the sequel? Yeah. Maybe next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but do you have any big plans for 2011? Yes, uh, make more videos, get, uh, you know, actually bring the production bigger. Bigger, bigger and better. Yeah, bigger and better, and just yeah. continue doing the same thing. Yeah, because you, I mean, you've just, I mean, along with Circus, all of your videos have been doing really well. You're inching towards that top 100 list. Will you be excited when you finally get oh there? My gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> I, can, I can't wait to be on your show. He's going to so dedicate it. I can't wait. That's wonderful. And Fluffy, any plans for 2011 with you? 
Uh, not really. Well, not really. Yeah, I just want to start making more videos. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been kind of slacking lately. You seem to be loving that skull animal. I wish I Olga, you give them you to so many people. I you know the <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. You're gonna keep it. It's it's your present from America. <laughs> Like this forever. And maybe yeah. you should start saying mooshing your videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> the talents of Olga K, the moosh mommy. Are you looking for a moosh daddy? Is there a moosh daddy? There's no moosh daddy, but we can change moosh daddies every month if we need to. <laughs> you know? So then everyone be participating equally. Oh, wonderful. Family. So you all ready and excited for the holiday season? Is anyone doing anything big? Yes. Michelle, what are you doing for the holiday season? I'm going to sleep. Sleep? <laughs> I'm gonna Not sleep on a plane, but on sleep at bed. home? Okay, <laughs> wonderful. And uh, would your, does your family do anything special for the holidays? Um, this is my first first holiday where I'm not going to be home, but I'm actually going to a homeless shelter and volunteering on Christmas. Okay, wonderful. Um, Are you giving to any charities this year? I've been giving a lot to World Vision and oh, mostly nice. to um, in Thailand. When I went to Thailand, I've been donating a lot to the school, buying supplies to help build the playground and to buy shoes and books and anything that they need um, oh, for the orphanages. Very cool. So, yeah. Olga, what are you giving to this year? Um, SaveTheChildren.org. Oh, wonderful. Yes. They're wonderful. Yes. yes. And, and for the holidays, I've never spent time with my family for the last 11 years, so I'm going back to Russia. You I are? Know. Yes. How exciting. Yes, that's going to be a lot of fun. When do you leave? I'm leaving the 27th. How long are you going to be gone? Uh, for three weeks. Oh, wow. three weeks. Yeah. That's a while. So. Yes. 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 Okay, are we throwing it to kittens? Kittens? Like I love the kittens. kittens oh, other tape. Good. Some kitten tape. <laughs> I. No kitten? Dancing? I love kittens. Go to be dancing. We should have them. Well, everyone just start dancing. If there's no kittens, we'll dance. Roll the tape. Thank you so much for supporting such a great cause and letting me be a part of it. I'm sorry I can't be there, but I really appreciate YouTube and the Vlogbrothers for giving me this opportunity to help support the charities. I think Project for Awesome is a great way to end the year, and if you're watching this, I wanted to personally thank you for caring about things other than yourself. I just think that it's awesome that there's so many people out there that are willing to help people less fortunate than them. And I really hope that Project for Awesome inspires others to do the same. So thank you guys so much for being so awesome and being a part of this awesome project which allows other people to be awesome as well. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and a great new year. Bye! Tee -hee.